But that doesn't mean that Mugen can't just absolutely clean up two games and take the set. Sorry. Sorry, folks. You got a hiccup. It's making it kind of hard to talk. All right. So right now, though, just go see it. Mugen get the first hit here and throw him off in the corner. But he's going to foot stolen. But it's Joker. We got a tether recovery. It's all right. Yeah, so Mega finally getting a hit. Actually already has our set before he's really able to put any damage on the board. So a little early, this advantage right here. But this character, especially when they have our set and they're able to just get a little extra kill power, he's definitely able to gimp Roy super early. So you need to see how Omega's able to take advantage of our set in this set. Right now, though, already almost gone. Only got 43% on Mugen. Not able to put any pressure on the ledge right there. but. Yeah, Omega's fine though. He's perfectly capable of killing the base Joker, but right now he's actually going to eat a forward smash at center stage. Punish for the whiff grab. Now he's got Mugen in the corner here, but not quite able to find anything on the, or find any punish on it. He's actually going to get punished at center stage himself. But good back throw, going deep for it, but not able to find it. Got a ledge trump, but not ready to look for it either. Just kind of trusted Mugen to not put himself in that position, but or maybe he thought he's the one to go Trump. But yeah, right now though, Mugen is closing in on 100%. So especially now that Arsene's back on or online, Omega definitely needs to find the kill here while it's available before he takes too much extra damage. Yeah, just kind of running up and shield him, waiting for Mugen to swing, and not going to be enough with the down gun, but forward tilt might send him far enough out. Nope, it's Roy. Got some mad drift. Forward air's going to take it. Yeah, so able to get some good use out of this Arsene. Now I need to see if he's able to bring this percent deficit back a little bit. But yeah, not able to really get anything started off the grab. But hang on. Yeah, so 50% separates them. Not too big of a deal, especially for both of these characters. But. Hello. Hello. Oh. Are they not able to hear me? Uh, I didn't realize your your mic is very far away from your mouth. Ah, uh, that's a shame. The Somber King was commentating like this, and I was like, oh my god, that's why. Yeah. I just thought it was because I was quiet anyways. Is this better? Yeah, that's better. All right. Well, right now we got. Sound a lot better. <laughs> Somebody said audio terrible, and I'm like, this mic is still hot. Yeah, and that's it's right up to nothing. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, that's also my fault. Yeah. All right. So. While I looked away, Mugen taking Omega's second stock here, but able to get a little bit of Rebel's Guard. So Arsene should show up earlier on this last stock, and he does have him at kill percent. So I need to see if Omega's going to be able to close this out. Get him to last stock before he has to start blowing Arsene timer, and we're going to see it right there. Going to get the drag down forward air. Right in time for Arsene to come online on the next hit. And going to see it ledge jump out of Mugen, but again, not really ready to punish even after getting the confirm that they were looking for. And gonna whiff the down air and end up off stage. Arsene's basically gone here, so. All right, good. All right, let me get up. Good back air out of, well, Omega's got Mugen off stage right now with the back throw. He's gonna be able to air dodge to ledge and went a little too low, so gave up ledge to Mugen here, but. So let's see if he's able to do anything off the... Oh, he was looking for the infinite, I'm pretty sure, but Mugen ended up getting hit by the last hit in that one. We can see another drag down. Not going to kill off the up smash. Not quite high enough percent, but... Yeah, Omega's definitely looking for his kill options right here. He knows Arsene is very far away and going to get up into the F-tilt on the roll. So Mugen taking game one here. Absolutely, absolutely. Close game is always the Mega uh, Mugen sets, always going back and forth for as long as that I can remember. Yeah, I was talking earlier about how I think the record is still in Omega's favor, uh, at least recent recency-wise. So recency-wise, is definitely Omega's favor. I believe history set, I believe because it's probably coming of recent closer to history, even. It's definitely you know close to 50, but I believe it's like 60, 40 Omega favor right now. Yeah. Lifetime. So this lead the. Mugen's got in this game one lead. Not necessarily going to set this set or guarantee that he wins the set here, but definitely puts a little bit of pressure on Omega. And right now, they're just kind of trading blows in neutral a little bit. Just the upper juggles. 
gonna get five, but the last one's gonna end up weak hit. Narsen's come back or come into play. He's gonna get hit by the down air there. Don't usually see Roy down air actually working at all, even though he only got the weak hit. Yeah, uh, short hop instead of full hop, they're not able to get the punish. But yeah, and that's that's our sin, and it's gonna be jab back air center stage, not enough to kill, but. Definitely, Mugen's just kind of asserting his authority right now in center. Mugen's oh, feeling himself right now, man. Yeah, he knows the Cola's not here, so he's like, I got to keep the Roy representation going. Like, there has to be a Roy in Grands. But just going to keep pressuring Omega here in the corner. Just see side B, and Arsene's back. So, we need to see if Omega's able to take the stock here, but instead he's going to be jab back aired and... Just not able to get off this ledge. <laughs> We're going to go just a little aggressive looking for a roll read. Is he going to hold stock for the Omega? He needs to steal this out to have a hope to, uh, you know, continue on. Not to say that we've never seen him. Mugen. Not to say that we've never seen him, you know, make these types of comebacks, but obviously these types of comebacks, if you know, are taxing. They're very on, you know, on the mental and stuff that you really just don't want to be, you know, consistently putting yourself into. Yeah, even though Joker has Arsene as a comeback mechanic, like it's not, it's very clear that Arsene's not sticking around to play when Omega's needing it the most this set. So he is finally going to take that first stock off the F tilt, but he can't just rely on Arsene to try to bring this game back because he might only get one more this for the second game here unless he's able to hang on to the stock. We're going to see a bit of a. <laughs> We saw a nice string come out from Omega, unable to really seal out everything to get the most out of it. Uh, he was trying to do some uh, walk-off shenanigans, but yeah, moving he was, on the ready. He was cooking for a minute there until he got up, or up tilted. But up air going to take it from Mugen, and Omega showing just a little frustration there. Definitely a little upset about how that sequence went, I feel like. But good Rebels guard, so early Arsene, here we come. Go right back to the up air strings that got moving so much percentage on the second stock, and Arsene's already halfway gone. Maybe taking the back air. Yeah, he's just putting so much pressure on Omega. He's not even able to like try to swing the trade. He's just getting stuffed out by sorry, Roy hitboxes. Getting back air. Gonna be scrambling a little bit here. So are we going to see any kind of pressure here in the corner? No, Mugen going to be able to take center stage back. And this is Omega's last stock in winners if he's able to, or if Mugen's able to find the kill here. So definitely needs to be careful. He's going to get up aired, air dodging through the forward air attempt. But it's still looking like it's going to be a two stock if he's not able to find something fast. And <laughs> yeah, that's going to be it. Mugen getting a little aggressive with the up, up B right there. And Omega's just going to back air that easy kill. But now he's got to see if he's able to bring this back with Arsene. He still has half a meter. He's got him off stage at 60. And we're going to see a forward air taking it. Omega's not ready to back down. Again, we've seen him do these comebacks all the time. I, I was happy. just talking about how Arsene's not there when he needs him. And he got it. I mean, just yeah. right when he needed it. Yeah, absolutely just demolished him on that last stock. You could even say there's a little bit of comeback cheese. <laughs> the Buddha. No, I mean, I don't even think that was really cheese. I mean, I guess no, you could really say just, that, you know. That was just a really good heads-up play. And I, I honestly think the forward air might have gimped even without our set. Yeah, no, regardless, that's the, it just it added some oomph to it. Max Rage, uh, Joker. It just pushed him into the blast zone rather than let him fall into it. Yeah. By the way, right now, they're both just trading blows in center stage again, and Mugen still finding mo uh, more hits coming out on top of this exchange. Uh, that side B is a little, little crazy, maybe feeling himself a little too much, but he's already got Omega at this kill percent, and Arsene's out to play, and going to forward air instead of back air out of the jab, so maybe not trying to stay out here so he can get something in the corner. F tilt across the stage. Yeah, this is what I was talking about second ago, like, when Omega's able to utilize Arsene, he's definitely able to get a lot out of it. But this is where most of the Arsenes are going, is he's just still in that percentage where Roy's just keeping him in disadvantage from one side of the stage to the other. Um, 
drag down forward air. We're going to see a back air as a reward for it, even though only got the F-tail. Might have been looking for the F-smash there. 129 on him. Unlucky we're going to see uh, another um, Arsene come out unless we get some Rebel Guard shenanigans. So they wouldn't be coming out to 170. And uh, Mugen? Nope. Yeah, Instead, we're going to see an F-tail. Mugen really wanting, you know, just take this out. One of the biggest things that Omega, I think, really struggles with is pacing the game at whatever he wants it to be. He always matches his opponent, and at the end of the day, you know, it's really him playing his uh, opponent's game. You know, when he can play the opponent's game better than they can, you know, what's what we're seeing here where he's, you know, at 27 uh, compared to uh, Mugen's 80. Uh, it is, you know, fantastic, and it's one of those show things that we love Omega for. But I really wish that Omega was a little bit more commanding about what was going on because, uh, you know, despite everything, it's uh, Omega punishing Mugen rather than, uh, you know, Omega creating situations for his own opening. Which, I mean, he had been doing it in this last stock where he was actually taking the initiative and Mugen just wasn't really able to find any opening to counter it until that side B right there. But now our sends out. Almost gone like, already. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I have time to talk about our send, he's already gone. Right now, though, this is definitely kill percent for both players, and we're going to see a drag down. So, yeah, Omega finding the up smash. Last stock for Mugen and winners here. And Omega does have a little bit of percentage left to play with unless he gets caught in the corner. Roy's not going to just kill Raw center stage at the moment. But, yeah, able to find something, but into a tech chase and side B should be enough. Yeah, so last stock, basically even percentages. 7% doesn't mean anything to either of these characters. Maybe on their kill throws. <laughs> Swinging that ghost. Yeah, so spot dodge, just able to press a button out of the, sorry. Able to press a button out of spot dodge instead of just having to deal with out of shield options there. Able to get a down tilt as a result. Because that was the one, one of the nerfs that Joker did get was they increased the lag for side B. So, like that's just heads up decision making. I didn't even really think about like after the side B hits your shield spot dodge so you can get a better punish. There's Arsene, he was right there at the 45, almost, you know, getting spat out, but for a reason, just right there, you know, takes it off. Gonna see if he can make the most out of it, because Mugen definitely does not want, you know, to hit for a little much longer. Yeah, and whipping the grab right there, I think he was definitely looking for probably down throw back air, but he's gonna get down air, and just he's got Mugen in the corner here. Another dash attack, and yeah, so Arsene's gone. Omega not quite able to close it out on that edge guard attempt. But like, he definitely had the right idea, perhaps. Going for the counter. He's going to air dodge through the neutral B and just getting the weak hit of the F-tail right there. So smart decision making to drift out because he read, or he caught on that Mugen was baiting him. And F-tail cross stage here. But we almost have another Arsene if Omega's able to survive another hit. And with but. the fact that, you know, Roy has the weak hits. Is that? That's going to be it. Yeah, so that's going to be able to give him Arsene. He's going to blow his double jump here, though, and get untackable from the back air. So good on Mugen to punish Omega going just a little low as Arsene invincibility was gone. That reminded us two frames in with it. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, that was a really good set. Came down to last hit. We had a major comeback in game two. Those are the type of sets you want to see, but unfortunately, I have to go because mm -hmm. I got an hour drive home. Go for it, my friend. Right. I'll hold it down. Have a good night. See you later, Card. Good now? Yeah. All right, gamers. Uh, up next is going to be Mugen versus Jazzo. But first, let's talk once again about Momocon. Everyone keeps complaining about the attendees being hidden. I'm sorry about that. We're going to try to not have that happen as soon as we can. Uh, but crazy set. I, don't know, I thought it was very good. Um, but Mobocon 2022, yeah. May 26th to the 29th. Super Smash Brothers getting a pop bonus. We have a, also along with that Mario Kart Deluxe and Rivals of Aether. Rivals of Aether has a little bit of a small scene here locally, but it always is nice whenever we see you know the larger people come out. Dragon Ball Fighters, Brawlhalla, Tekken 7, and Guilty Gear also always included with us. We oh, love yeah. our FGC representation there. Mm -hmm. um, we have our, you know, for the past few events that I've ever attended, we have, you know, those little dedicated areas, arcades. If you enjoy CEO, you definitely enjoy MomoCon, and we have even more to offer with it. The fact that you have the whole entire anime side, it's just not an FGC dedicated uh, spot. Mm -hmm. So hopefully you guys come out. We, uh, the registration itself, if I'm not mistaken, is free. You just have to what? pay for your event pass. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, you're player one. You're player one.